So you want, all right, let's close. Tia Fimo. Oh, uh, so real comes quick. Out. So, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know what the, I'm not even going to pretend to know the medical term. Oh, what? That he was dealing with, yeah. but it sounded serious. Yeah, right. <laughs> and all, yeah, and also as somebody who's not a doctor, I am not qualified to know how bad that is. I Some people on Twitter were saying it can be um, a little, uh, not not hit or miss, but it can be like really bad at times. And then other times it doesn't really impact you at all. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Diggs brothers, chicken talk. Um, but, but it is something where if he was dealing with that, that's pretty significant mm-hmm. and may have explained why he charged him in the hey, first hey, round. Turn around. Yeah. Am I going to have to? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. You're the smart one here. Pneumo Omdio Steinem. Thank you. Good, that was good, perfect. Might be good close. Job, I don't think Monster. you got it. It, it, might, still yeah, it might be close. Monster, it, might, it might be close, Boy. but. Yeah, it, that looks like it is very painful. <laughs> and my thought was, I could be wrong, completely speculating, but that could be why he charged him in the first round. Partially, Trying maybe overlooked him. Before anything. But yeah, maybe if you don't know if it is something that comes and goes, if you don't know, if I have my win in the third round, maybe I don't. Maybe I can get him out of there and then we can deal with this afterwards. But Did we, did we get any information about him knowing about this prior to the fight? Well, he apparently was struggling in the article, he was struggling pretty bad before the fight. Uh-huh. Like he pretty much wanted to go forward, but everyone was like, "We should not do this." Yeah, that's all. Telling Carson, if you possibly die, I'll say pull out. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. but like, he, I don't care what they it, say about you. I think yeah. what he was kind of saying was the delays. He didn't want there to be another delay, mm-hmm. another postponement. But yeah, yeah if it, and again, we never know. We've talked about all these not excuses, but we talk about all these medical things. Like even going back to Lomachenko's shoulder against yep. Tiafimo. Yep. I have no clue. Oh, that was that. Oh, I ain't gonna say it. Like, oh, that's what's happening. Yeah, that, 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 that's what that, that put the air in. His chest. A lot of people said that. That was speculation. Don't show that. <laughs> but but it is something <laughs> <He's> where. <laughs> but it's something where You're like mature, man. like we don't know if we don't know if Lomachenko's much. shoulder was messed up. We don't yeah. know if you know somebody's hands hurt or if this happened. I don't know. Yeah. So if it's true, that's a hell of a lot to overcome. Just yeah. in my complete novice boob opinion. But somebody said something interesting to me on on uh, when I did the, the zone card. They said boxing is the only sport where you have a replacement opponent the day before the fight or the week of the fight, and the world doesn't go crazy about it. He said you can't be scheduled to play in the finals against the Lakers, and then the day before the game, now it's the Nets, yeah, or now it's the Clippers. You know what I mean? It, like it just doesn't know. change like that. Or the Knicks. But people don't Bing make a, a big hoorah when it's boxing. Right. And the thing is, boxing's that sport that you just it's it's like it's a sport that like once it's it goes beyond contracts for the fighters. The contract is signed when I said I'm gonna fight you. The contract is signed when I say I'm calling you out. The contract is signed when when you say, yo, you tell me when and, and now's the date, let's go. You know what I mean? So Boxing is the only sport where he did not want to pull out because he understood that if I pull out, my future may not be what, what I want it to be. Because he pulls out, they it's been so many postponements that they find a replacement. That replacement somehow, some way beats George George Cambosis. Yeah. Now his future changes. You know what I mean? So boxing is the only sport where, well, I know that it happens in other sports where athletes get on the court and they got injured ankles or they got broken fingers and things like that. But boxing is the only sport that everything's internal. You never know until it's done. And we're the type of people that once it's done, then we'll tell you, hey, I was dealing with this or I was dealing with that. But I regress. My point is, so there's so much critic. I digress. Excuse me. You never regress. You improve, baby. You're right, baby. Listen, there's so much criticism that comes from the world to these fighters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all never know what we're going through. Mm-hmm. Y'all, yeah. n- y'all never know what we're really going through. Ryan Garcia came out and said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having, I'm dealing with some stuff. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta pull out." Yeah. Now everybody was really quick to criticize what was going on. Is it really this? Is it really that? You gotta let this man be a man. You gotta, you can't forget that we're human. This man's a human. He put his life on the line. Now he's sixteen and one. Respect him for being sixteen and one. Respect him when he comes back. I know it's a, they're doing a lot right now. I can't wait to with watch the social media again. and all that kind of stuff. Respect him. Give him his 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 time to rest and understand that when he comes back, he more than likely he means business mm-hmm. when he comes back. You know, this was a hiccup in his in his game. This was a night that didn't really work out the way that he wanted to. We can see that there could have been some things holding him back, 
And you know, it's just a part of the game. Do you, do you think my so my immediate reaction was was shock that that sounds very serious, or whatever. Uh-huh. But then my second one was, then if if you knew you were dealing with, why was there not not complaints, but why did you say, oh, I won this fight, and why did Tiafimo Senior say to Eddie Hearn, how could you do this to us, something like that? Oh man, that if you know that they dealt with this, is that just like a heat of the moment? You're still like. Kind of angry. Most of the great fighters make excuses. Every, yeah, every, that's every, what we every said. Every yeah. fighter Most shouldn't be. Re- uh, every fighter even Floyd. Be, uh, did it. Shouldn't well, be yeah, interviewed yeah, after yeah. a fight. Even you know? Floyd used to say, "I would have knocked him out with my hands." Right, yeah. my hands. If Floyd yeah. used to say he was going to knock out everybody yeah. with my hands. I, I, I'm not sure there's a way to do it. And then even when we see stuff like if we, if people see like Ryan Garcia in a, in a cast, everyone's like, okay. But there's not really a way to. You mentioned not knowing what fighters are going with. We don't really know. Like. Yeah. It could there there are times where things could that they say could be completely made up. Yeah. Or could be completely true. Or even they could underestimate it. They could say, Yeah, I was dealing with some stuff and they were dealing with you know, tons of stuff. And yeah. we're just like it, it's tough because boxing is not a sport where there's an injury report. Like yeah. we watch an NFL game and it's like, okay, he's dealing with an ankle, he's dealing with a shoulder. Mm-hmm. You can identify it. Boxing is not that. Mm-hmm. You just so. deal with it. Yeah, yeah deal just, with it, and we, and we have, it. and, and it's tough from a fan's perspective to, you might give somebody a pass. People have been critici- criticizing, you know, Deontay Wilder saying things, but then they're willing to give somebody else a pass. Or, it's tough as a fan to kind of say, I think I believe him, and then maybe you burns you, and you're like, Nah, I shouldn't have believed him at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, then you, and then you don't trust somebody else, and it comes out that was true. Yeah. So it is just tough. But yeah. get well soon. Either way. For sure. Yeah, the excuses well, so. I'm talking about are the scorecards. Like yeah, not yeah, him yeah. almost oh. dying of an asthma attack in the yeah. ring. Yeah, that's not an excuse whatsoever. Um, but yeah. It'd be a creative like, one <laughs> if it was one. Right. But <laughs> No, I mean, he's he's going through it right now. Yeah, Tiffy Moe, sounds and, like it. And it's tough in this social media era where of everyone course. just dumps on you. And so he's still, you know, like we said a week ago, a generational talent, I mm-hmm. think. Just a ridiculous mm-hmm. talent. So. Mm-hmm. He'll be back, and I, I really look. F- I can't wait to see him fight again. Absolutely, so, keep fighting the takeover. Don't yeah. turn to the layover. Very true. Dang. The takeover still rolling. The regolution still yeah, televised. Yeah. Always. And you used to I have like asthma. Like you, you had an asthma yeah. attack when you were young. Yeah. So. yeah. I was yeah. gonna use the clown, but I was like, I respect for that guy. Yeah. Like yeah absolutely. Too. Yeah. No, we fight through it all. Um, mm. I I fought through asthma as a kid. I've practically grown out of it now, but we he fight was using the damn inhaler in the ring after the fight. Yeah, he was? We fight yeah. really. In yeah, hands. We we've I've had fights where I fought where you know I was sick and just kind of made it through it. You so know all respect mean? and so, love to the fighters in this sport. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. I fought somebody one time. I had to use the restroom. I had a boo boo. <laughs> and you won. Yeah. yeah. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's all do it. Right. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.